So starting off with the upper arm, there's an anterior compartment, there's a posterior compartment, and this section here is essentially looking at the right arm um, as it's kind of coming out to you. So it shows where the cross section has been taken. And as I said before, the two compartments are separated by fascia. So the anterior compartment has three muscles, and BBC is the way that you can remember them. So the first one is biceps brachii, and this has two heads, so it has a short head and a long head. The brachialis, which is slightly further down, and the cracobrachialis, which is this green one here that connects from the coracoid process onto the humerus. And each of these three muscles has their own function. The biceps brachii and the brachialis primarily perform elbow flexion, so they insert onto the forearm as well as onto the humerus, and when they contract and shorten, it flexes the arm. The biceps also has some activity in supination of the wrist, and that's because of where it acts on the forearm, it pulls it over as it contracts. There's also some semi-pronation from the brachialis, so that's essentially the opposite to what the biceps does. And the cracobrachialis primarily carries out shoulder adduction and flexion, and doesn't really have a role in elbow flexion. And all three of these muscles in the anterior compartment are supplied by the muscular cutaneous nerve. So that's the anterior compartment in a nutshell. So coming on to the um, posterior compartment of the upper arm, this again is quite simple. So there are only two muscles really to know about. The first is triceps, and this has three heads. So there is a long head, a lateral head, and a medial head. And the second muscle is anconius. And anconius is a muscle that kind of is sometimes counted as the posterior aspect of the upper arm, and sometimes within the posterior compartment of the forearm, because it has a role in both compartments. The primary role of both of these muscles is elbow extension, so the opposite to the anterior compartment, and they're both supplied by the radial nerve. So muscular cutaneous nerve for the anterior compartment and radial nerve for the posterior. And this again just summarises that. So the upper anterior compartment is made up of elbow flexors primarily, they have a few other functions, and is supplied by the muscular cutaneous nerve. The upper posterior compartment is uh, made up of the elbow extensors and is supplied by the radial nerve.